Welcome to our video. Today, we'll learn about the country of Benin. Over the next few minutes, we'll watch the amazing scenes of Benin, the people, the culture, and learn about the places and sites that make this country unique. All in all, Benin is just one of 21 countries in this series, according to the United Nations official statistics, that we'll be covering. Please, if you enjoyed this video, thinking about vacationing, or enjoying learning about a new place, consider watching one of the other ones and giving this video a like. Benin is a very unique place. As you know, first and foremost, it is primarily a French-speaking West African nation, and it's the birthplace of Vodun, or Voodoo, as a religion, and home to the former Dahomey Kingdom from circa 1600 to 1900. In Abame, Dahomey's former capital, the historic museum occupies two royal palaces with bas-relief recounting the kingdom's past and a throne mounted on human skulls. To the north, the national park offers safaris with elephants, hippos, and lions. It's quite the sight to behold. When it comes to the historical significance of the country, in the late 19th century, French colonizers, making inroads from the capital region into the interior, borrowed the name of Benin, the name of the defeated Dahomey Kingdom for the entire territory, now called Benin. The current name derives from Bight of Benin. Benin itself, when it comes to its land base, is bordered to the northwest by Burkina Faso, to the east by Nigeria, and to the west by Togo. The official capital is Porto Nova, but Porto Novo is Benin's largest city, its chief port, and its de facto administrative capital. Benin, formerly known as Dahomey, is one of Africa's most stable democracies. Benin's shores include what used to be known as the Slave Coast, the departure point for captives to be shipped from Africa, for slaves to be shipped across the Atlantic Ocean. Today, you'll find that French, as a language, is the country's official language, while Fon, Yam, and Yoruba have the status of national languages. Discovering the culture in Benin is the highlight of any holiday to this West African nation. Benin's culture remains deeply influenced by the legacy of the slave trade, as well as by voodoo, the national religion. And to outsiders, it may be very appealing, but maybe, at the same time, what helps to make the area infamous or ununderstood. The climate itself in Benin is very warm, with an average annual temperature of 33C, or 91 Fahrenheit but has few truly tropical and sultry months. It's warm and hot all year round and invites, to, and invites you to bath at an average temperature of water of 27 degrees C. That's over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The warmest and rainiest part of the country is Atacora. If you're traveling the land, what types of animals are in Benin? What should you look out for? The land itself is home to various animals, including elephants, leopards, lions, antelope, monkeys, wild pigs, crocodiles, and buffalo. There are many species of snake, including pythons and puff adders. Birds include the guinea fowl, wild duck, and partridge, as well as many tropical species. The cost of living in Benin is $650 US which is 1.13 times less expensive than the world average. It is ranked 130th out of 197 countries by cost of living and the 155th best country to live in. People here tend to spend their money in restaurants, and those restaurants here in this land offer good food and reasonable prices. Many people live in Benin in villages in the rainforest. They grow vegetables and they build their houses from mud wood and palm leaves. Men from all over the kingdom serve as oba, as soldiers. Historically, warriors went into battle armed with swords, spears, and crossbows, evolving into the 1600s to have guns as well. To answer one of the most commonly asked questions about Benin on the internet, why is Benin so hot? The tropical climate conditions have a fairly high relative humidity, which makes it feel very warm, especially in the months of April and May. If you're planning a visit from November to February, it's the dry season in Benin. The chance of rain is considerably lower and the intensity of showers is also less, making the air 
more comfortable if you're prone to not enjoying as much humidity. When you visit, what food is eaten in Benin? Rice, beans, tomatoes, and couscous, a type of food made from crushed steamed wheat, are significant staple foods. Fruits are common in this region, including mandarin oranges, regular oranges, bananas, kiwi fruit, avocados, pineapples, and peanuts. The palate is very diversified in the country. Why should you visit Benin? The country itself is rich in culture, and it's a great opportunity to learn more. The people are friendly and easygoing. One of the reasons to travel to Benin is its political and social stability. So, get your bags and ready to come again. To have a, ready to come not just once, but again, to have a wonderful and memorable tour experience. What is the biggest problem in Benin? The main environmental issues facing the people of Benin are desertification, deforestation, wildlife endangerment, and water pollution. The spread of the desert into agricultural lands in the north is accelerated by regular droughts. Benin is a small country situated under the elephant's ear in West Africa. It's one of the safer countries in Africa to visit, especially when compared to its neighbor Nigeria. Most expats, and there are only a few, settle in the country's largest city. And now we invite you to enjoy some of the unique views and sights in the birthplace of voodoo, Benin.